Hi guys, welcome to my channel. In this DIY tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to make this lace applique white bridal shoe. It matches the lace applique wristlet that I did in the last video. I love how this turned out and I think it's so pretty. So if this is something that you'd like to add to your wardrobe or make for your wedding, stay tuned and I'll show you what I use to get this look. For this project, I used E6000 glue, white leather paint, some white pumps, and some fabric tack. To make the appliques, I purchased some really fancy fabric from Joann's. For the beading, I used white halfback beads in 7mm, 5mm, 4mm, and 3mm. So my first step is to get rid of uh, this tan detailing in the shoe. I think I'm gonna leave this part down here, so like this little bit right here, but this part I'm gonna paint, and then I'm also gonna paint the back of the shoe like from here to here, because I want the entire shoe to be white. So I'm gonna put some masking tape where the shoe bends and then paint the rest of it white. So I'll do that and come back and show you what it looks like. So with this applique, I'm going to utilize every bit of the fabric, including this little piece up here. I'm going to probably wrap that around the heel. So I'm going to cut out some of the appliques, which will be really easy because they're kind of already created. And I'll show you what they look like. I was able to get all of these appliques out of that one piece of fabric. So these are now ready to attach to the shoe. So the underside of my shoe has been painted and now all I have to do is remove the masking tape. I wasn't too careful about the paint because I am going to bead over it. This particular paint is not the normal one that I use. I normally use Angelus, but I wasn't able to get that. So this one was kind of, the drying time was a little bit faster. I just needed to wait an hour between coats. I added three coats and it's ready, so I'm gonna remove the masking tape and start adding the appliques. I removed the masking tape, and so this is what the shoe looks like. It has a nice white bottom, which is perfect because I wanted the underside of the shoe to match the top because I'm going to applique and bead the shoe all the way around, so I love how this looks. I'm gonna start adding the appliques and show you my progress. And again, I just wanted to point out that your neatness of painting does not matter. See how there's little pieces here? This doesn't matter because I'm gonna bead an applique over this. So if you do make a mistake, it's perfectly fine if you're going over it with other designs. So don't even worry about how neat your painting is. This is what the shoe looks like now that I've added the applique all the way around the shoe. And I really love how this turned out. It wraps all the way underneath and then it comes out on the other side. Sorry about that, which is exactly how I wanted it to look. So I'm gonna continue adding appliques and show you what it looks like. This is what the shoe looks like now that all of the appliques have been added. And I really, really love the way that this turned out. I think this is gonna just be so cute once I add the beading, which is my next step but I just wanted to give you a really, really good look, and I'm sorry it's so wobbly, at how it turned out. I added as many appliques as I could because I liked the way that the wristlet turned out, which if you're wondering, I will link that video to the end of this video, but I just really, really wanted the appliques to pop, and I feel like the beading and the appliques mix just make it such a gorgeous palette. So I'm gonna get started on the beading and show you my progress. This is some of the detail on the shoe. So, so far I've finished this half. And as you can see, just like with the um, wristlet, I'm just going through and filling in the beading in the areas where the lace has spaces. I'm gonna finish up and show you the final result. Really quickly, I wanted to show you exactly what I meant by spacing and beading. So this is the applique where I've glued it on and anywhere where the applique does not meet, which is here, or there's open space on the shoe, which obviously is gonna be on the back 
or on this side all of this is where I'm adding the beading so I just wanted to make that clear in case you're working along with me and you didn't know what I meant so all of this would have the beading added all of these little spaces anywhere just to make it look completely quilted if you will with the beading so hopefully that's a little bit clearer I'm gonna keep going this is the final result I love how this turned out I think it is so beautiful before I added the beading my sister saw the shoe and she commented that with just the lace appliques that was probably her favorite shoe that I've done but I love how the beading just adds that extra touch I think this whispers wedding it's just a gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous shoe. And I really hope that you make this, especially if you're thinking about a DIY bridal shoe for yourself. So as always, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a great week and I will see you next time.